at 10 from David Durant on behalf of the Village of Cumberland to the school board, inviting us to support their application for Neighborhood Learning Center Brown. Now, I understand that it is a horse of a different color in terms of what you're bringing forward, but I believe that receiving something from the Village of Cumberland receiving this letter is relevant. We have 10. We can get it, and we should have some discussion about it and how it might relate to the other applications at the time. I would... Were there any questions? Yeah, thank you. Right. Okay, I think we better clarify. Just if we could maybe just clarify, first of all, what we do have on the agenda here. What we have is a meeting this evening to consider the school community connection grant applications that we received via the usual channels and via the process that we had approved last month. And from this agenda, I see that there are two that we have received. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. 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 So there are two that arrived late that you did not include. May I ask why the application that was sent on behalf of Cumberland, the Village of Cumberland, is not included in this? Maybe that will help to clarify things. Well, I think that it's kind of the whole point, in a way, is that because it is a different type of application, and I think that the feedback that the Village of Cumberland got was this is not the process that senior management had been mandated to do, they made a decision to send it straight to us. And it is appropriate. It is a partnership. The grants are partnerships between municipalities and school boards, and so this letter is addressed to us as a school board, inviting us to support an application under the grant, and under the grant it could come from either party. Now, I agree that it makes some assumptions. There hasn't been a great deal of discussion behind it. So I'm not speaking to the merits of whether I even think it's support, but I believe that as a school board receiving a letter from a municipal partner, we should read the letter and consider how we want to deal with the letter. If we choose 
Okay, so what you need to do yes. is net decide now what, how you would like to see it added. And I think I heard you say initially that you wanted it as item, added as an item of new business. Yes, because I think I'm thinking there's two stages. Oh, just, no, just wait. We can't speak to the merits of this at all. Um, you could request that the board consider adding it as an item of new business. The other would be to add it as a third, a third application for us to consider. I'd like the board to consider the letter and whether to add it as a third proposal. I'm not even saying that we should do that. But I'm saying that when we receive something... Oh, okay, no, I, I take your point, but we're trying to figure out whether the board's going to need to vote on whether to add it to the agenda. Sherry has something to add here. If I could just clarify the pieces of the grant applications. Um, one of the reasons why I didn't say it's the agenda sugar, one of the reasons why it doesn't sit in front of you is because from what, based on the criteria that we have held for the last two grants, and certainly we had expected to follow, is that the way that particular grant reads, and that is this is my take on it, because it's got my name on it. It's incomplete. There is no letter of invitation from the school district from senior management at all. We would be the endorsers and the recommenders that this would be the appropriate work for us to do because it's our work that's described in the partnership. It's incomplete because I've never spoken to the gentleman. It has no endorsation other than the town of Cumberland and not from the school district. Well, the letter's asking for the school district which would, if we agreed, would mandate. Well, but I don't, I don't expect us to agree. I expect us to respond to their letter. Okay, so do you want it added as an item of new business or a third application for us to continue? What would you like us to do? Item of new business. Item of new business? Okay, so it needs to be unanimous in order to advance that to our agenda this evening. Can I just ask a clarifying question? Of the two that came late, this was not, what's being referred to is not one of the two? But it's not this, is it this one? Okay, so your motion is to add this to the agenda. Do we need a second order on that? Okay, would somebody like to second that? I'll second for discussion. Okay, so Sheila, maybe you'd like to speak to why you feel it should be added to the agenda. Well, because I believe as a board that our relationship with, I consider us as a car with municipalities. And when we receive a letter of this nature inviting us to partner with another municipality, I believe that we should give it consideration. It would be nice if this just waited to the next board meeting, but we are, it is about a grant proposal which we are going to consider. And I feel that we would be behaving very disrespectfully at this point to say, no, we're going to set this one aside and only deal with these ones and not respond to the village about why we're doing it. I would think that the, in my view, and I've studied it carefully, the School Community Connections Program is a joint sponsorship of the school trustees and the Union of East Municipalities. It is perfectly reasonable for a municipality to initiate this. And this year's round of funding, the criteria from the Union of East Municipalities is so clearly designed to support discussions about neighborhood learning centers and creating facilities that combine school and municipal uses. So this is what Trumbull and Aaron are asking us to do. They wrote a letter a year ago asking us to start talking to them. The board referred it to staff. That discussion has not started yet. So they see another round of funding comes forward and they are wanting to move substantively on discussions that might result in a phenomenal facility at extra provincial dollars. They want that discussion. Now we can say that 
that we don't want to do it through this grant. But we need to respond to their offer of partnering with us in some way. And that's the discussion I want to have. Are we going to say, yes, the ministry endorses neighborhood learning centers. There may be opportunities for us to do that. And we will engage to talk with you. We want you, our staff, to engage with you. Are we going to respond to the intent of their proposal and say yes? Or are we just going to say, no, we have no interest in doing this, and the opportunity will lapse. Cumberland will build a new rec center or village office. The library will go where it goes, and we won't bother talking to you. I would be disappointed in us. And I believe that our reputation, if we are not respectful of the letter that comes, it's coming from council. It is supported. They do want to work with us. And I think we have to um, consider and answer them. And we might say, yes, fine, go ahead with the grant. I'm not speaking in favor of that. We might do it. Or we might say, let's consider it as one of the three. Or we might say, not at this time, but we will talk soon, immediately, seriously. That's the discussion I want. Yes. Yes, that's the discussion. Anyone else like to speak to this? Franz? I think it's important to sense that this issue, in this issue, process and substance are becoming defined, and I think we need to separate those two in determining how to deal with the letter. In my opinion, if the trusted management of the process and management's opinion was that this letter was not appropriate for whatever reasons that are the same as given in terms of fitting within this grant application process, then I would be concerned about that. But I'd also agree with you, Sheila, that we can't ignore the letter, but I don't think that by not including it in this process, we're ignoring it. I think we should deal with the letter the way we deal with other letters and put it on the agenda under correspondence with the next board meeting. Um, and particularly since you mentioned there was a letter a year ago, then it's obviously the issue isn't tied to this timeline. And it would be appropriate and, I think, necessary to discuss it, particularly if there was an extensive discussion that didn't evolve um, last year. And all the more so why we should have a discussion. I just think in terms of keeping the process clean, we need to deal with it the way we want to do it. Anyone else? Danny? I have a question. Did the letter come from council or did it come from their recreational director? There's a resolution from uh, the mayor. Mayor signed by resolution the Village of Cumberland supports neighborhood learning centers. Yeah, there's no date on that. And that would be the authorization of the grant application. That's usually the letter that we would normally attach to the grant application. Because that's what's required. So that usually the motion where they, you know, you, when you, whatever you do today, you will capture the motion. And they include their obligation to the motion. Yeah. Anyone else like to uh, speak to this? Yeah. I think that so what I think that um, in the addressing the letter, if I could uh, could perhaps do the role. We heard two weeks ago from the board when we talked about the criteria that you that we were we were setting um, around the grant applications and the kind of things that you were looking for and supporting. Um, and we and there was a decision made about what that criteria would look like. That is certainly and I have read through every word three times of the whole community school extension. And if the board has some autonomy around what they endorse and what they don't, there's a criteria on this. But the process is certainly autonomous to the board. They're, um, they can have their own criteria around that. And so the notion that perhaps that you need just the funding on, on the mechanism that you use now, but there is a, a responsibility on the part of the school district to design their process to get through the grant applications that they are going to come and feel good enough to endorse them. The letter speaks to developing a conversation with the, the district. We heard two weeks ago there was an appetite amongst the board that, that there was merit in the argument and merit in the conversation. And from that, we 
we saw all of us, some of us were more to do than that, but we addressed it on Monday about what we could do and how we would begin to connect with not just the government, but the other two partners that we have. So there is clearly, we thought, there was a direction to move forward two weeks ago. We haven't approached it yet. There's been other things on our plates, and it certainly was our intention to take the direction from the board of what we thought we could to begin those conversations. So the letter can be a correspondence, and probably what happens often, I think, is a response, would include that there is, the senior management will be designed, and this would be referred to senior management, and they would be undertaking those kinds of discussions, initial discussions, with the idea that they would start from ground zero, because to date, senior management has not had conversations with any of the board members. I would just like to say that I don't myself feel that we should consider this application in the context of these grants right now. I think it's a good idea, what they're putting forward. Call it a neighborhood of learning, call it what you will, but we're doing a facilities review here and planning about the future of the district, and to me, to approve something like this, it's out of turn. We're sort of saying then that this is our biggest priority. It's going to be sort of a frosty day before we see any capital money come, and we undertake all of this work. It sort of looks like this is our capital priority, when it might not be right now. Vanity is our capital priority, so I think we should engage in discussions further, but not in the context of this grant, so I'm not going to support me adding it to the agenda. Anyone else have anything they want to add to this? My comments are, I think, similar to Fran's. I'm having trouble divorcing a letter from an application, because it's, for me, the letter blurs, because it speaks to letter and application. So in principle, I don't have a problem with a letter coming forward, unless it's described, but I'm not able to imagine what comes from that, short of the full conversation that would be required, that would follow the work that's done by senior management in evaluating the application, which, to my sense, hasn't happened. There hasn't been an opportunity for that. Do you want to close at all? I guess so. I really feel bad, because I feel this is very confused, and I know that we actually wanted to not end up with this competitive or confusing situation, and that's exactly what has happened. And I think that a significant amount of the confusion is that this proposal, this covering letter with it, and the resolution are not coming into the school board to become the school board's proposals that we then seek support for. They are another partner who has every right to make that proposal, putting together a proposal that they support and asking us to join them. So they are two very different things. So I'm putting aside whether it is very clear that the contact can come from the district or local government. That's the first part of this. But the point, too, is that we wouldn't be doing this if we won't do it again if we start and initiate the type of conversation that will start us developing partners. And maybe the partnerships between us and other municipalities might go in other directions as well. This is only neighborhood learning centers, only one possibility. So I guess what I would like us to put it on the agenda so that a motion could be made to write the village of Cumberland saying that we are not going to support this now. We are already in progress with putting forward our own applications, but that we have indicated to senior staff that we would like conversations about these possibilities to begin as soon as possible. And that, I think, would respect our mutual partner at the same time as we carry on. I just am very concerned about that protocol of us. And it is not about the process, the mandate we gave our district staff. It's come to us completely separately, and we need to address the village of Cumberland's offer to us in a way that restores us. 
and dust. I'd like the item added so that we've already had the discussion so that we could, in fact, respond to the letter in a way that keeps the door open. Okay, so I'm going to call a question here. All those in favor of adding the letter to the agenda, please raise your hand. All those opposed? And that is defeated. So we'll have a motion to adopt the, or we have a motion on the floor to adopt the agenda. All those in favor? Opposed? That is carried. Thank you. Just for a point of order, there's nothing that precludes this from being attached formally to our next board meeting. So that we can follow through. Thank you. Okay, Sheila, did you want to speak to the item? Thank you.
Lake Trail has an existing evidence of consultation. Royston is a proposal to start it. So I was a bit concerned to see a lot of operating dollars. And what happened with Cumberland's grant last year was that the operating portion was cut back, and they were encouraged to expand their strategic planning portion. And you might, in doing this, want to give similar advice to Royston that they increase the language in the grant around that consultation process so that it would increase the chances that it's well received. The general intent and idea and the way it plays out looks really great, but I did have a few concerns about that. And that that also might increase the sustainability of making sure that this is more than just a one-time survey or whatever, that it's built in something. But those are – oh, the other thing I would like to make clear to everybody is that when the grant proposal came to Lake Trail, because I have been involved in that project in the past, I received e-mails saying, what are we going to do about this? And I said, leave me out of it in this round. You go ahead and do whatever you do. So I was not a party to the application process at all. Thank you very much for that. Appreciate it. Do you want to respond, Sherry? Okay. I'm So I'd like to make a motion that the school board support the SCC application for Royston Community Partnership and the Community Garden Lake Trail School in the amount of $12,500 each. Second. Did you want to speak to that? No. Nothing to add. Did you? Anyone else want to speak to this motion? Okay. So the motion is to approve both applications for $12,500 each or something like that. Okay. All those in favor? Or something like that. And that is carried. Thank you very much. Motion to adjourn. Second. I think we have a second, third, fourth, and fifth. All those in favor of adjourning? That's pretty much unanimous. Thank you very much. Thank you.